everyone. Today I'm going to read you a story called Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll. It's a story about friendship and not giving up when things are difficult. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll. Ricky the rock that couldn't roll. Over the lake out, out past the bay was a green grassy hill where the rocks came to play. They would race to the top and take in the view and then roll their way down the way rocks love to do. One thing I forgot to tell you about this story is on every page you'll see a ladybug. See if you can find her. There were Kip, Pip, and Chester, and Marvin the Boulder. Ignatius played too, though he was much older. And a group called the Pebbles never sat still, zigzagging their way up and over the hill. See the ladybug? Kai was a meteorite and not from this planet. And Maya was lava but taken for granted. Stu was the smart one and Parker the clown and grumpy old Ebert rolled round with a frown. Gabby was sassy and Lessie had flair. Emma was giggly and Hud had black hair. Do you see the little ladybug? But the one trait that seemed to be shared by them all was that every rock there was shaped like a ball. And because they were round and they could easily roll through the grass, past the lake, and up over the knoll. Except for poor Ricky, who quietly sat. You see, Ricky couldn't roll because one side was flat. He looks a little sad, doesn't he? But one of the rocks doesn't seem like he's having fun either. <laughs> Some of them look very happy. His friends didn't get it. Come roll, they would chant. So Ricky tried, but replied, I'm sorry, I can't. Looks like the ladybug's trying to help Ricky. But the rocks were determined. They were sure they could solve Ricky's flat-sided problem and help him revolve. So Marvin the Boulder, with his impressive physique, carried Rick all the way to the hill's grassy peak. Then he pushed him downhill, yelling, keep rolling, kid. But Rick didn't roll. He just kind of slid. <laughs> Look at the ladybug holding on and Ricky saying, this feels like a bad idea. He might be a little scared. Well, the rocks weren't done, not by a mile. Surely the next try would get Rick to smile. They stuck rubber balls all over Rick using big gobs of glue to get them to stick. They were proud of themselves. This will work, they announced. But Ricky still couldn't roll. Now he just sort of bounced. No good, no good, no good. Well, they pushed and they pulled, trying every which way to get Rick to roll. But by the end of the day, nothing had worked, just like Rick expected. And he ended up feeling depressed and dejected. It's no use, Ricky sighed. There's just isn't a way. So I'll sit off to the side and watch you all play. I feel sad for Ricky, don't you guys? It seems like Ladybug's sticking with him though. But his friends wouldn't quit. We're here for you, brother, and we'll get you to roll one way or another. So they pondered and thought, each stretching his brain till they looked up and saw it, it was starting to rain. And that's when it hit. The smart stone named Stu 
Eureka, he shouted, I know just what to do. He explained to them how they would get Rick to tumble. My plan is sheer genius. Stu wasn't humble. <laughs> so they carried our hero down the road about a mile to the lake where they gathered up mud they could pile on the flat side of Rick, creating a mound that they shaped, smoothed, and sculpted until it was round. Then after the rain with the sun in the sky, they left him to bake till the mud was all dry. They gathered up vines and one colorful feather. They wrapped all around Rick to keep it together. <laughs> oh, look how silly he looks. He's got a feather and mud on his bottom. Ladybug's still watching. When the last knot was tied and the work was all done, the only step left was for Rick to have fun. They stood back and watched, feeling nervous and tense, as Rick breathed in deep with increasing suspense. He moved slowly at first, testing out his new mold. And then for the first time, Ricky the Rock rolled. Oh, he looks so happy. So Bria the ladybug, who'd been there from the start, felt a surge of joy swell up in her heart. She thought as she watched her friends play on the hill that there's always a way if there's also a will. And she said to herself as Ricky rolled down the slope, when you're surrounded by love, you always have hope. The end. I think that is the nicest story for two reasons. As I said in the beginning, one is because Ricky's friends didn't give up on him and they stuck with him and kept trying until he could have fun just the way they were. It's really great. And the other thing is Ricky didn't give up on himself either. Sometimes when things are challenging, it's easy to give up, but he didn't and his friends wouldn't let him. I love that story. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.